everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys and of course if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share because of course sharing Ivorian Spice is caring and if you want to contribute to this channel you can always contribute by clicking the link description guys and also sending money via PayPal you will see in the link description and of course you can always catch me on live Monday 805 the catch up podcast where you can send your super chat and this will help improve the quality content of this channel but guys let's get straight into it yes the match you've been waiting for the reaction you've been waiting for because it's Manchester United 1 West Ham United nil ho 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 guys first of all let me just sing right now for you West Ham fans you know Forever burst in your bubbles. Yes, we are bursting your bubbles. Yes, we burst West Ham bubbles. Manchester United have done it. Last minute dot com win. A last minute savior for Marcus Rashford himself, guys. I'm happy because it was a shit game, guys. The match itself throughout was shit. Manchester United could call themselves lucky to get the to win. Because West Ham themselves did well at times. The West Ham could have scored goals as well. Manchester United, on the other hand, lucky to get the three points, guys. Guys, make sure you smash the like button and share as well if you feel what I'm saying. But overall, performance-wise, in terms of the first half, Manchester United still started off slightly better, looking better with the ball compared to the last game that we played against Brentford when we were just giving things away. We looked better with the ball and at the same time, the players looked a bit more fitter. They were covering a lot of grounds in the first 45 minutes. That's the one thing that put me back and made me think, hmm, this Manchester United are covering a bit more ground today. You know, they're, they're pressing. They're doing the pressing. Hey, hey, absolutely. They're doing the pressing. But again, Manchester United himself in the second half as well was pretty bad because they weren't creating that much chances as, as we were lucky to even get what, what happened to us, you know, what we got, the when the last minute goal from Marcus Rashford. Guys, I'd like to apologise for the bottom pictures of my, the overlay. Normally there's supposed to be a picture there, but there's not. So the show must go on, guys. But yes, as I was saying, in the in the in the second half, Manchester United could have done way much better. We was shit without passing. I felt like uh, West Ham and Manchester United themselves were just giving the ball to each other to me to use a bit of the Chuckle Brothers kind of football. But overall, when Manchester United first started off that first game, the first half, the first minute, West Ham started off on the front foot, which I wasn't happy with because now we have seen it that Manchester United cannot start a game on the front foot. Always on the back foot. West Ham were over us in the first opening minutes of the first half. And again, not good. I thought as well, both teams, again, I said before, sloppy with the passing, giving away even their sloppy seconds. They can't even give that away too. It, it is disgusting. Manchester United need to really, really improve, guys, on the way they pass as well. Although I did say that it was better than the previous game, which is absolutely true. And again, in the second half, again, where the goal came, which is absolutely marvellous, I was pleased because it came from the bench. It was the bench FC that came on to score with Martial on the ball, driving at the, at the defenders and slipping in Cavani. For Cavani to cross that ball straight, for Rashford to pathway to tap that in, which was a brilliant goal in the 92nd or third minute, dying seconds just before the ref was about to blow the whistle. Whew, beautiful, beautiful. This is what football is all about. And this is what I like. Football's about the kind of moments, and it just, it just, you're just happy as a football fan. You're like, oh, I'm so happy. You know, if it was had to be any other way, stuff like this is what I love. You know, we was hurting, we was watching it. We had to go through the hardest way. We had to go through the hard way. God said, you're gonna suffer. You, just as imaginary fans, we are suffering. You're gonna suffer for the whole ninety minutes, but at the end, there will be some light, and there was light at the end of the tunnel. Big up to the guys who got the goal. Because we needed it. Manchester United are now sitting fourth position now with the game in hand ahead of West Ham, which West Ham was our nearest rivals. We're just hoping that Arsenal can lose now. But yeah, 
I'm pleased with that. Ralph Ragnar needed the win, needed the three points. The boys did their things. In terms of players today, guys, Mason Greenwood was poor. Anthony Alengo himself as well was poor. Bruno Fernandes was poor. Maguire did well on his return. Ronaldo was poor. Technically, my donkey of the match, guys. Rashford came on and done his thing. The subs done their thing. They really did their thing. If it wasn't for them, we would have not got this goal. Man of the match today for me, guys, has to go for the goal scorer himself, Marks Rashford, the guy that I've been dissing for a long time, you know, just to encourage him, Ginger, his swagger, to make him a better footballer. But Marks Rashford for that goal, and only that goal is the reason why I'm going to give him match, man of the match. Don't give the match. It's got to go to Ronaldo again. Nothing today. No thing today. Ah, If we're not creating chances, Ronaldo is not useful. You know, he's not as he's because he, he, that's all he gives to the team goals, and we don't create chances. And Manchester United need to start creating chances. And I'm hoping they'll come together. Manchester, Manchester United, Holics, my Holics, listen, yeah, Manchester United football, the, the, the way the team is at in terms of squad development is slow, it's, it's, it's getting there. We've had hindrance such as the COVID strike, not being able to um, train the whole COVID outbreak with the guys at the training pitch as well. And on top of that, look at Lindelof as well. Nothing's going good for us at the moment. Even the way we got our manager two weeks after. Where we need to be, we're not at, but we're getting there. I can see it week by week, guys. So guys, be patient, you know. I know, I know, trust the process that we hear, you hear all the time, but you forget about trusting the process. It will take time, you know. Squad development and the way that he Ragnar wants to play will take time because we don't have the players to implement, you know, the style of play onto the pitch. We, Ralph has to work with what he's got and then eventually the next manager will take over but until he gets the foundation right which he is, he's tinkering with the team you saw the 4-3-3 formation we will get there, honestly speaking but guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivor and Spice of course guys, as always, remember to subscribe smash that like button and also remember to share and remember to join me on Monday at 8.05 for the catch up with the guys, the mandem for, to, for us to discuss this game in full as well and talk about news as well. But and it's always a vital. So make sure you press that notification up button and also alerts you for when I go live and when I give you breaking news as well, guys. Of course, on your match reaction. Next one, of course, the catch up. And then Ivory Coast game against Egypt on Wednesday. Match reaction will be out as well after the game as well. So, guys, stay tuned for that. But yes, guys. Manchester United fans, Manchester United holics, it is what it is. We move on to the next game. As always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Peace out, because I'm out. Enjoy your night. Peace. Wolf for Arsenal sucks.